Helm has been the standard for deploying applications in Kubernetes for years. But recently, there's been a shift. With GitOps taking over and operators becoming more powerful, people are asking, is Helm still the best tool for Kubernetes deployments? Or is it slowly becoming obsolete? In this video, we are breaking it all down. Helm's strength, its flaws, and how tools like Argo CD and operators are challenging Helm's dominance. Stick around because by the end, you will know exactly where Helm stands and whether it's still worth your time. Let's start with why Helm became so popular in the first place. Helm chats simplify Kubernetes deployments. Before Helm, deploying applications in Kubernetes meant writing and managing hundreds of YAML files manually. Every deployment, service, and configuration had to be written out in full. It was tedious and error prone, but Helm changed that and introduced charts, pre-packaged templates that bundled all the Kubernetes manifests you need into a single reusable package. Helm also brought a powerful templating engine, letting you customize configurations easily for different environments. Want to deploy the same app to dev, stage, and production with slight changes? Helm made that possible without duplicating YAML everywhere. Plus, Helm's version releases meant you could easily roll back if something broke. That was a lifesaver for teams scaling up their Kubernetes adoption. But as Kubernetes adoption grew and applications became more complex, Helm's limitations started to surface. Teams building large-scale microservices found that Helm chats could quickly become bloated and hard to manage. What started as a simple deployment template often turned into a tangled web of value files and conditions. Security also became a concern. Helm relied heavily on Kubernetes secrets, which are base64 encoded, not encrypted. If someone gained access to your cluster, those secrets were easy to decode. And perhaps the biggest issue, drift detection. Helm only knew what was installed. If someone manually took resources in your cluster, Helm had no idea. Your Helm chat might say everything's fine, but your cluster could be in a completely different state. Enter GitOps. This was a paradigm shift. Instead of treating your cluster as a black box, you declared your entire state in Git. Tools like Argo CD watched that Git repository and ensured that your cluster matched it at all times. If someone manually changed something, Argo would detect the drift and fix it automatically. Argo CD also didn't replace Helm. It integrated with it. You could still package your application as the Helm chat, but instead of running Helm installed manually, Algo would read the Helm chat from Git and deploy it. It also handled updates and rollbacks through Git commits. This gave teams confidence. Your Git repository was the single source of truth and Algo kept your cluster in sync. With Algo CD, the manual step were gone. No more running Helm upgrade in the middle of the night. Just push a change to Git and Algo takes care of the rest. But there's another player, operators. Operators go beyond deployments. They introduce automation into the application's lifecycle. Imagine deploying a database. With Helm, you deploy it once. If a pod crashes, Kubernetes restarts it. But what about backups or schema updates? That's where operators shine. Operators are custom controllers built to manage specific applications. They watch your cluster and automatically handle operational tasks. If your database pod fails, the operator not only restarts it, but it also ensures it joins the cluster correctly. Need a backup every night? The operator handles it. Operators make applications self-healing and easier to operate at scale. So the big question, is Helm dead? No. Helm is still incredibly useful especially as a part of GitOps pipelines like Argo CD. Helm packages your applications and Argo CD handles the lifecycle. The best teams use Helm and Argo CD together. Helm packages your application into reusable charts and Argo CD ensures it's deployed correctly and stays in sync with Git. This combination is very powerful. It reduces human error, automation drift detection, and scales with your team. So we can say that Helm isn't the final boss anymore. GitOps tools like Argo CD and Operators are the future. Helm is still part of the future, but it's no longer the solo star. It's part of a supporting cast. By the way, if you want to master Helm, Argo workflows, Kubernetes automation, and many more, make sure to check out my courses link below, where I walk you through real world setups and deployments. Are you still using Helm or have you fully moved to GitOps? Let me know in the comments below. Cause you